Welcome to Cage Corner. My name is Vin, and um, <clears throat> I'd like to discuss a few topics going on on uh, around MMA today. So uh, first, we have uh, GSP George Saint Pierre has decided that he will no longer be fighting for the UFC. They've been trying to get uh, you know get him a fight since February, but the sale of the UFC to the WMEIMG group put that on ice. Now after the Fertitas left the company and uh, the new ownership group came in, they decided that uh, George St. Pierre will not be receiving the package that the Fertitas decided to offer St. Pierre. Obviously this will not work for George. He is one of the highest earning, especially when it comes to sponsors and pay-per-views and uh, he just doesn't need to stand for that. Now, uh, moving on, we also have uh, other sad news. It appears that Jose Aldo has decided to retire from MMA. Jose Aldo, one of the greatest fighters of all time, went undefeated for 10 years before losing in a fluke fight to Conor McGregor. He lost in 13 seconds. He got knocked the fuck out. Sad, but it is the reality of a fight sport where you have one inch gloves. Uh, on a brighter note, we have uh, Chris Weidman. He's going to be joining Kevin James on his hit series. Kevin is waiting. So uh, on this series, Chris Weidman will be playing a rookie officer it's one of the funniest uh, sitcoms out now, and uh, I'm really excited for that. Okay, now for our next segment, I'd like to bring in my guest. Uh, this is one of my childhood friends. We grew up together. I was the one who taught this kid to masturbate. His name is Miguel Puyugan, a.k.a. Baby D. What's so going on, boy? So, uh, how's, how's life been going? Been great. Yeah, it's how's good. college? It's messed up. Mm. Is it because of a girl? Some were girls. Girls? It's a shame, bro. So, um, let's talk about that later. Okay? Right now, I want to discuss some of the upcoming fights. We have the uh, most epic fight card of all time coming up on November. 18. It is the uh, first event, first MMA event in uh, in New York. So we have um, Conor McGregor fighting Eddie Alvarez. Do you have any thoughts on the fight? I'm going for Conor McGregor. You're going for Conor. Um, I see Conor taking this too. I think uh, Conor is the quicker fighter. Mm -hmm. He's got a heavy left hand. It's uh, it's something Alvarez has seen, but you know, Connor, in my opinion, he's not just talented, he's also obsessed. So I see Connor taking this, he's bigger than Eddie, um, he's faster, he's, uh, well, I don't want to say technically more proficient, but uh, striking wise, Connor is the superior fighter. Now, Eddie Alvarez's only chance, in my opinion, is if he grabs a hold of Conor McGregor and either takes him down or um, or puts him up against the cage. Either way, that's not something easy to do. And uh, Conor being the bigger fighter, I just, you know, I just see Mystic Mac taking this home. What round do you think he's going to knock Eddie Alvarez out? I'm thinking it's going to be just his first round. First round? What, first two minutes, something like that? Yeah. Oh, somewhere there. Okay, okay. Um, let's move on to the next title fight. Uh, Tyrone Woodley versus Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. So um, <clears throat> we know that Tyrone Woodley didn't want to fight Stephen Thompson. Mm -hmm. He claims that uh, he wanted to get a big money fight. So he's saying he wanted to fight either George St. Pierre or Nate Diaz. <clears throat> and. Um, I think, I think, he's a little bit afraid. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's a little bit afraid. Because um, we saw how Wonderboy took care of J Johnny Hendricks, 
who, <clears throat> let's be honest, George St. Pierre retired the champion, but Johnny Hendricks won that fight. Yeah, Johnny yeah. Hendricks actually beat he the did. fuck out of George St. Pierre in that fight. And um, <clears throat> sometimes, you know, fighters win yeah. off of their name. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's because of the location. So uh, I, I, I personally believe uh, Johnny Hendricks won that fight. So he also beat me with money. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Stephen Thompson took care of Johnny Hendricks just like that. He didn't even break a sweat. He barely even got hit and um, in my opinion, Johnny Hendricks is basically the same fighter as uh, Tyrone Woodley. So the difference is Tyrone Woodley is admittedly faster mm -hmm. and uh, I'm sure he hits a little bit harder. But having said that, I still don't think he touches Stephen Thompson. Who you got? I think Tyrone can do it. You he's, got Tyrone? Yeah, I think he's a little bit Are you kidding? Him. Tyron will be speed this pussy, man. <laughs> okay, well, if that's your opinion, I mean, uh, maybe you want to put money on that. Oh. Oh. Looks like we're putting. Oh. Okay, so I got uh, Wonder Boy in that fight. You got Tyron Woodley. Let's move on to the assassin, Tim Kennedy. Right? We all know Tim Kennedy is a member of the Navy SEAL. Yeah, he is. He was involved in capturing Saddam Hussein. This guy is an actual killer. He's in the military. He kills people. And he's going to be fighting for entertainment. Doesn't that seem pretty funny to you? Nope. It's like, um, in my opinion, you're a professional basketball player, and then you're going to go and play pickup ball with, you know, street kids. It's just, you know, it's just a different level. It's a whole different level. Um, I'm taking Tim Kennedy against Rashad Evans. Why? Granted, Rashad Evans is a great boxer. Um, Rashad Evans retired Chuck Liddell. So, you know, Chuck Liddell is one of my, uh, well, Chuck Liddell is the fighter who actually got me started to start watching UFC. And, um, and for Rashad Evans to take Chuck Liddell out like that, that moment he he hit Chuck Liddell with the overhand right, I felt it, man. I felt it. I was like, oh. <laughs> so, I mean, that made me a fan of Rashad Evans. Uh, unfortunately, a few fights after, he got knocked the fuck out by Lyoto Machida, who in turn got knocked out by Shogun and uh, John Jones, Daniel Cormier, and so on. <clears throat> so, um... We got there, Rashad, Tim Kennedy. Who are you going with? I'm going with Tim, man. I'm going with Rashad. Okay, that'll make it interesting. We gotta discuss the terms of these picks later on, but uh, you know what it is. We also have um, one of my favorites, Donald Cowboy Cerrone, and uh, fighting the Ultimate Fighter winner, Kevin Gastelum. Um, I think, you know, Donald Cerrone has a tendency to choke in big fights. Uh, he got knocked the fuck out by Rafael Dos Anjos in their title fight um, without Dos Anjos even breaking a sweat. But uh, Cowboy Cerrone is one of the most, uh, you know, uh, technically proficient strikers that we have. He's coming off a uh, beautiful knockout of Rick Story, who no one has even able, no one has said no one has been able to take out. Now, having said that, as I said, Cowboy Cerrone tends to, uh, you know, perform badly in, uh, in big fights. Uh, where Kelvin Gastelum is the opposite. Kelvin Gastelum is actually performs his best, uh, you know, when the fights are important. So. My mind tells me Calvin Gaslam takes this fight, but my heart goes with Cowboys Rome. So what is your pick? Let's find out your pick first though. Maybe it could be Kevin Gaslam. You're going to Gaslam? Yep. I have to stick with my boy, Donald Cerrone. Because it's um, going to be an important fight. Fuck you. <laughs> what are you trying to say? 
Are you gonna use my uh, breakdown against me? Is that what you're doing right yeah. now? Yeah. Fucking bitch. <clears throat> but, I mean, to be honest, <laughs> I want Cowboy to win. I think Gaslam might win. He is. Okay. okay. <laughs> so um, let's move on to one of the uh, most intriguing fights that we have on the card: the undefeated Khabib Nurmagomedov fighting Michael Johnson. Uh, Michael Johnson, very fast striker, uh, great hands, good wrestling. Khabib Nurmagomedov is, uh, in my opinion, one of the best wrestlers right now inside of the UFC. And of course, I don't mean WWE wrestlers like your fucking ass tries to watch, right? It's legit wrestling. This ain't no Brock Lesnar shit in here. Um, I'm taking Khabib. Yeah. yeah. I think it's Khabib good. takes Michael Johnson down, lies on top of him, rubs stick on his face a little bit, and just, you know, takes the decision, just like George St. Pierre used to do. Yeah, I think it's Khabib. Going with Khabib, okay. Smart man. Um, now, for our last segment, I want to highlight one of the most exciting up and coming fighters. We have Michael Venom Page. Um, he's an extremely talented uh, karate practitioner. He, uh, he's taken out, you know, one of, the, one of my favorite things about Michael Venom Page is um, when he hits you, he knows you're going down. So there's uh, there's actually one fight where he did a spinning roundhouse kick, and right after that he just posed, just posed for the cameras, while the other guy just staggered off to sleep. Shit. Fucking crazy. Shit. Um, extremely talented uh, karate practitioner and uh, very fast, very tall, very slim, and. Um, He's one of my favorite fighters to watch, so check him out.